first of all let us see what is a rpa rpa is a robotic process automation so throughout this journey almost 30 to 40 days of this whole course you will go to you, you will learn the rpa developer course see if you see the rpa robotic process automation there is a lot of jobs are there in multiple job titles one is a rpa rpa uh, analyst so business analyst rpa infrastructure engineer rpa uh, something like a developer rpa uh, business analyst okay so there is a lot of roles are there but now what we are this course is for only for the rpa developers okay so let us see what is rpa robotic process automation is a, a, a nowadays lot of okay so uh, lot of uh, a new tools coming into the picture these days right so cyber security and uh, iot internet of things and automation right there's automation so now it is coming to the automation part robotic process automation part so mainly the thing is any any like a, so any type of work an automation is not a, a new word in this era automation is a world word okay the, the world word people are doing automation years and years now from 90s before 90s also they are doing the automation using the a, a codes lot of codes but what is the rpa means the rpa is like a without writing a, a number of lines of code you are doing automation okay it's not like a, so you, you to you, to do the automation you don't need, need to be a expert on the that mean deep dive into the c sharp language or c language or any programming experts okay so anyone can do this automation so one thing you have to understand how the robot reacts you have to understand how to utilize this auto, uh, rpa a uh, future okay first of all before going to the in depth so let me see a simple things about me okay so who am i okay so basically most of the people knows so a few people are i, I see the new people so let me introduce myself myself sudhir nimagadda so these are all the things i have almost 12 years of experience in the it i started my career as a dot net developer and moved to the multiple uh, technologies like sss sql server powershell javascript these are all the, my my throughout my journey from starting uh, uh, to 12 years back so right now i'm working as a c lead software engineer in epm systems hyderabad almost 5 plus not only 5 plus it's a 5 5 plus years of experience in ui part of pa tool especially rp ui part in rpa so and also i won two prizes uh, in hackathons which were led by the ui part and uh, i got a mvp 2022 award so most valuable professional award ui part will provide so that is a, a symbol you, you can see in the top of my photo uh, this is the logo they will give uh, this is the award okay so these are all the companies i work uh, so far so okay so tech data epm systems usg global okay george technologies hp knowledge matrix dx technologies okay. so let us move forward so what is rpa robotic process automation is like a see so if we divide the words robotic process automation so a process if you see any type of process whether it is a hr process or uh, any any process okay process means anything okay so from the end to end which contains the multiple steps involved normally if you take the recruitment process it has involve a lot of steps like a uh, the, uh, the means so sending the uh, job description and the interview process and then uh, uh, selecting the candidate and lot of steps are there right so that is a process means it is a any any process which is doing manually right now so that that is a processes any type of process which has a multiple steps involved and automation means it's like a uh, without human if anything is working without human uh, that is automation okay normally we we use the automations in in the word Uh, regularly like okay, so automating the process and uh, earlier it is a manuals now it is automatic automating right 
So if you see the a picture of the humans here, the picture. So this picture uh, indicates. Okay, so what is before automation? So in the doctor, a, any process like so, the doctor treatment process or uh, analyzing the doctors, that means so patient study study the patient records. This is not any process. Just take the one process here before automation. Doctor has to spend hundred percent of the tasks throughout the uh, process. One process involves the multiple steps. Got it? One process involves multiple steps to do any process, any any work. If you see there, if you, if you want to uh, open the bank account, what are the steps? Multiple steps involves right. You have to first fill the form of the bank account, then. Uh, so you have to submit the, ba the the form with the your your identification proofs like a other card or pan card into the uh, these are all the submission form filling the form these are all the steps involved to open the bank account right so like that there is a many we have a processes so with this process it is a manual effort doctor effort is a, what is that 10 100 percent but after automating if you see the red uh, orange mark that is a robot robot already taken care of the 80% of the effort and 20% is a manual effort so they reduce the time of the uh, before the automation they take the 5 minutes now it is a 1 minute of for the task so if you see this the before image actually the robot the robot what it is doing it will just interact with the multiple applications okay and uh, combining uh, uh, complete the task what the robot can do the robot can do the robot can <clears throat> before going to that what human can do with the computer okay? just imagine okay what you are doing regularly daily base with the computer okay uh, can you can anyone type in the chat box uh, what you you do regularly with the computer how you are interacting what is the work whether it is a email watching or that means so reading the emails and getting the text Okay, typing some forms, uh, filling the some forms, right? Copy paste, yeah, mail watching, yeah, perfect, Jagdish. So, what, 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 any any other others? Can you can you just ping in the chat window? Okay, attending meetings, yeah, sending reports, perfect. Okay, timesheet updates. Perfect. Okay. So these are all the multiple tasks we are doing with the computer, right? So working with the Excel, right? Perfect. Yeah, interacting through the mails. Not only that's a PDF, opening the PDF, right? Creating the PDFs, right? Browsing, yeah, web browsing. Rajesh, excellent. Okay. So these are all the things. See, if you see the image, the image represents it will just interact with the multiple things like if, if the robot can able to read the email send the emails download the attachments right so robot can interact with the excel robot can interact with the uh, web applications right robot can, can create a, a new uh, a pdfs invoices or, or receipts okay so a robot has a capability if i say the robot the word robot don't think about the physical robot in your mind okay so See, that's why in the RPA world, people call it as a bot, BOT bot, okay, not robot. So because we're not going to create a, a physical robots, we are creating, we are going to create a, a virtual robots which will sit onto your computer and do the task which you assign to the robot. Okay. So in this throughout 40 days journey, we are going to understand and learn what are the capabilities of the robot okay just see the one one, one scenario if you have a, a a worker okay who do not know your own language for example a worker is there so a, a person who is an expert in doing any kind of work just imagine a person is working under you working he, he is a capable of doing anything any type of work very quickly compared to the others is an expert on that if, if you just say anything so any any type of work so whatever uh, you want so he can able to he, he has a capability to work fast and work smart but here the thing is he knows only tamil 
or telugu just imagine he knows only tamil language but you people does not know tamil how can you utilize that person how can you okay uh, uh, say the things to that person to do this one do this one go go to the bank and withdraw the amount so so how can you utilize that capability right if you don't have a communication between you and the the worker smart worker so you are just paying the amount not utilizing that much smart got it okay if if you understand up to here just type i u in the chat box okay i i understand okay just type i u if you understand okay yeah type i u if you understand up to here okay yeah yeah sirisha thank you so yeah jagadish tejeshwini thank you surya yeah pradeep thank you yeah. okay now just imagine see here okay there is a iphone is coming so iphone just change your name so whatever you are just using just change your name okay so uh, change your your name okay instead of the mobile name okay navin thank you i you okay okay now let us see if you have a smart worker you are paying the amount paying the salary to the person but you are not utilizing because of the communications okay communication gap okay the same thing if the person knows how to deal with that person how to know how to how to uh, that mean assign the work to that person how how to talk can we utilize that smart worker more efficient right so the same thing we are going to learn in this 40 days okay we are understanding the robot capabilities we are understanding the rpa capabilities what rpa can do so if you know what rpa can do then you can utilize more better than that okay just imagine a person who don't know there is a uh, uh, washing machine just imagine there is a washing machine just think about the washing machine okay a person do not know there is a machine to wash the clothes he don't know he don't know whether that type of automation is existed in the world if that person does not know about the uh, there is a washing machine is there to to automate the washing the cloth this type of work can can this person think about that he will think just simply yeah manual process this is a manual process how it will automate this is a manual for how the how the robot will come so throughout this whole years and years we are coming across a lot of uh, things which is a uh, unbelievable things right so normally we don't think so Uh, so this thing will possible but those kind of automations and smartphones and uh, what not so lot of uh, things are drones okay many technologies technologies coming uh, uh, that mean driverless cars can you imagine driverless cars see so these things are all coming into the picture okay so how they created this in this kind of things are there because they know the technology they know how to utilize the technology to help the hum humanity is uh, humans to uh, do better life okay that is the main thing here how can a human do better life not a simply same kind of work daily every day same thing go and go to the office opening the excel refresh the excel and uh, sending the mail right checking the mail so these are all the things right okay like okay, so we can automate see first of all why i am saying these things and all because automation is the mindset okay so we have to find the automation opportunities okay so that's why we are going to uh, learn this th throughout this 40 days journey what is the capabilities of the rpa what ua path can do then once the problem will come you can understand oh this is a we can it is a possible with the ua path because it has a capability to connect to the database or it has a capability to read the uh, even there is a uh, handwritten documents right let us go to the next uh, slide okay so now i said the bots right now we will call it as a bots not robots okay because the robots are physical robots now bots is a, a virtual robots which sits on the your computer and do the work which you assign to that robot okay so it is it is like a helping uh helping to the human okay normally 
if you have an assistant with you you are just a new person in join into your company or your your, your just a co-worker or so the person who is working under you what you will do you are just saying that assigning that some task to him right assigning the task to him or her saying that you have to do this kind of work you have to first of all open the website log in the credentials i will store the credential into the text box you know notepad okay so you are you're just training to the person if you train to the person the person will do the the work what you are doing you are delegating the work to the person understand you are delegating delegating the your work to the person what you achieved first of all just tell me what you achieved type in the comment box what you achieve if you delegate the one work to the person your worker okay type what you achieved what is the achievement you got if you delegate your work daily work daily you have, you are spending the uh, in the one process at normally like a so work distribution rajesh okay work can be accomplished even so can you can anyone tell more answers data entry ah perfect so na, na, nagendra excellent nagendra nagendra suresh dinesh okay excellent excellent these are all the answers i want okay that time because see in the world you can't buy you can see you can buy anything you can buy the car you can buy the uh, a, a beautiful home but you can't buy the time understand time is a very important in our lives okay you can't buy one hour time right can you buy the one, one hour time for example one person sees uh, this is a doctor said it is a last day for you so we can't do this is a very big this is you what can he he has a lot of money and he buy the uh, one one month time no right right so that is the importance that, that is the importance of the time the time playing in to our uh, lives okay that's why we can save a lot of time we have to understand who are all doing the manual work mundane work time consuming work it is a repetitive same type of work repetitive we have to understand and we have to keep the robot in 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 place of the it's not like a replacing the jobs it's not like a, a, a removing the jobs you understand people will just uh, it's like a uh, afraid about the rpa afraid about the automation why because they think that if automation comes into the, uh, in, comes into this uh, this work so maybe tomorrow they will fire me because there's no use of me right so because of the same work putting the automation robots so why uh, what, what i do correct right so this is a just a fear but actually automation will save time and the human can work better than the better better than in the sense so humans will concentrate on the more uh, valuable tasks not the repetitive time consuming rule rule based tasks perfect okay now coming to the bots so we have a, if if you take any rpa tool rpa tool okay so coming to the bots there is a two types of bots one is a unattended bot second one is a attended bot the picture itself it is saying unattended means no human intervention is required no human judgment is required the bot the works will run continuously if you should if you schedule the bot if you assign the task to the robot and uh, ask the robot trigger, ask schedule the robot in specific time every one hour or every day at 11 o'clock so or every day at the night 11 o'clock you have to send the report of the yesterday you you just teach the robot how to create a report yesterday's report maybe the steps is like a, you log into the sap or you log into the sales force and extract the information of the employees how much sales are there right so these are all the things you teach to the robot and ask the robot to run every day 12 o'clock and to whom to say, send 
you you just configure the uh, uh, the business emails to whom to send how the report looks like how the body of the mail looks like everything you are teaching to the robot just build the mindset okay here not like a technology see build the mindset of the automation how can we utilize the technology to save to 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 live better life into the our uh, our world okay so every day the sales people will send in me emails manually or send in a whatsapp messages manually okay. got it so can you automate and save the life we can automate okay when we can automate when you know the actually what type of works what is the capability of the robot so come to the point so attend unattended bots will it is like a scheduled bots no human will trigger right so it automatically work example is like a sending a reports or checking the emails every one hour if any this kind of email is there then read the body or download the excel and update in the sap or send an email okay there is no human involvement is required or there is a triggers mail triggers are there if new mail comes into the mailbox with this subject from this mail id then do this type of work you are teaching to the robot that is a unattended bot no humans unattendance human attendance is not required you understand unattended this is a important question okay in the in the normally if you try in the interviews okay what is attended bots the attended bots are the bots which is human is involved if you if you see there is a 10 steps or they involve in the uh, a process to complete 10 steps involved into the process to the complete few steps done by the robot a few steps done by the human or human will trigger whenever they want human will trigger whenever they want got it okay for example okay let me okay so while it is opening we'll talk about the others okay okay attended means human attendance is required human judgment is required sometimes human may trigger the bot for example just take the uh, front office uh, jobs front office jobs means uh, if you are if you are uh, go for the any office uh, there is a uh, there is a uh, employees where for example let's go let's take a pan card so you are apply you applied for the pan card you want to check whether the pan card is uh, uh, <coughs> approved or pan card is uh, that means so uh, it's a rejected by rejected or not okay rejected or approved okay so what you will do you will go to the pan card office okay and there is a, a agent working for the verification of the pan card just agent sit into the in front of the computer so you will ask the, ask the agent can you check my pan last week i applied for the pan card can you check um, the pan card status so he will ask he or she will ask so what is the enrollment number or any id is there then they will search manually what the agent will go to the website log into the website and see they will just enter the enrollment number and click on the submit button and it will show the status and it will tell to the uh, customer if you automate the same process okay if the agent will trigger the bot the bot will ask simply enrollment number they no no logins no nothing okay if you just give the enrollment number and click on okay the you already told the login credential to the bot maybe you are keeping it in excel or keeping it in the cloud cloud credentials but the robot will do everything for you okay who triggers the bot agent triggers the bot when triggers whenever he want whenever the customer ask the different type of customers will come the customer will come to the pan card office for uh, for applying the pan card customer will come to the pan card office to verify the pan card customer will come to the pan card office to modify the some that mean updates maybe the phone number is not uh, that mean a, a name name is spelling mistakes is there update the pan card right so if you create a multiple robots to do the multiple works you save the time but you just trigger the corresponding robot 
by just clicking or doing some action in from the system. Got it? So automatically, uh, the robot, what, what it will do? Uh, the robot uh, will just log into the system, log into the system and uh, type the information, click on the OK button, search button and get the information from the, scrap the information from the website and it will tell you uh, this is a status, is approved. Maybe in, in a few days, they, they will dispatch to the, your postal address, right? Okay, so... Okay, now, so attended automation will trigger by the robot. Unattended automation is no human intervention is required. Okay. Attended U, unattended A. Just type U A. If you understand the attended or unattended automation, just type in the chat box U A. U A. U means un unattended, A means attended. U means unattended, A means attended. Okay, now let me run this bot. We'll see what it will do. Okay, I'm just uh, Human, so I'm I'm doing okay, not robot. Okay, I'm doing so. A partial part is I'm doing. Partial part is a robot doing. Okay, perfect. So this is a working fine. See uh, what these days I run. Okay, so normally there is a groups. What sub groups are there? Okay, so normally what you user. Uh, so we have to type the group name and go to click on that. So I will tell tell you the robot uh, that that means steps. Okay, normally I will type RPA group any group. Okay. 11 right click on this group and see you click on this group normally see click on this group and click on the top go to the bottom and click on the view all and see any anyone like yes anyone so it's a click on here and click on the message box and paste here the message and press enter got it so this is a work this is a work it involves a lot of click activities a lot of type activities right so just imagine how how I had automated this this part. So just I build the robot that will help me I partially. It is attended. See here here it is a attended bot, not unattended attended bot because in the between a human intervention is required. So let us see what human insurance what what all the steps he is robot is performing. I already copied the text. It is going to the clipboard. And I run the bot. The bot is doing. See, bot is doing. These are all the steps. Bot is doing. So bot is doing. Bot is clicking, you know, typing on the text box, search box. Click on that. Click on the view all information. And it is waiting for the human to select the contact. So I can decide to whom I have to send. Okay. So simple. I, this is a manually doing. I am doing. It's not a robot. Okay. I am doing. I just has to click on this. Nothing else. Click on this. Immediately, the uh, clicking on the message box and typing it, so it is asking, can we send the message? Yes, you send, okay. See, the remaining steps is doing by the robot. Understand? Again, it is asking another contact. Let's go back and click on just one, two click activities I am performing. One click activity here and another is a, giving the permissions to send to the bot. Okay. So let me stop the bot. Okay, this is a what? This is a attended automation. Okay, let's go to the next episode. You understand attended, unattended. Perfect. Okay. So what is the advantage of, of the RPA? There is a lot of advantages of the RPA. Okay, so a few advantages I kept here. Okay, so not all the advantages, but I kept only a few. So, okay, so while you are learning in this whole 40, uh, yes, yeah, save money. Okay, so that's a good point. Save money, uh, save time.
okay minimal errors right so save save money uh, save money how so basically save fte we can apply uh, save fte what is a save fte okay roi okay a return on investment or why the term roi is a return on investment okay so if you invest on the rewards so it will return back okay so save fte save fte save fte or time save fte and save uh, time okay save money so what are these things and also so it's a good so you are just charting this uh, less processing time perfect okay so it's a speed speed okay okay speed so okay compared to the human human ro what is very much speed right that's real so if the if the human is doing human is a uh, uh, i mean completing or automating uh, a few tasks okay okay more accuracy see minimal errors minimal errors and more accuracy thanks for helping okay and uh, make this demo is auto uh, interactive session excellent okay okay excellent parts uh, participants okay so let's talk from the starting okay working in the existing business process what is that working in the existing business process means normally if you introduce any new technology into the organization like sap or salesforce or any crm okay any new technology if you introduce to the into the organization what you have to do you have to change all the business processes earlier you are using the excel now you have to use a crm a new tool which you purchased okay earlier you are doing this kind of uh, uh, mathematical expressions in the excel a uh, formulas but now you, you have a, a new uh, uh, interface but it it is uh, adapting this thing Uh, existing few uh, employees is a uh, very time consuming okay because they habituated to the old work they habituated to the doing the uh, same type of work if new things come into the picture normally just imagine uh, uh, let, let let us go to the 90s back to the 90s okay so earlier there is no computers before 90s there is no computers if you see any organization like a banking Are are sales are okay. So, is the is the uh, a cloth merchants or any shopping malls? Do you see shop not not shopping malls? Okay, just say any vegetable vendors or any any anything. Okay, take any domain. Do you see a, a, a computers involved? They are doing the paperwork manually. They are writing. manually they are writing still i am seeing the some paperwork are there in the uh, uh, advocates okay they are doing the they are doing they are, they have a lot of case files manually okay. if you if they want to search in the rack it's a very difficult to search because they have, it's it's not like a simply control f on we search right is a paper you have to manually go to the all the refer the all the papers where is your record okay so in which year you came right these all things it will time consuming and it is not well organized okay now coming to this point working in existing process robot if ro if, if the robot process automation is uh, adapting by any organization they don't need to change the existing process before they are working a pdf robot can work in the same pdfs before they are just copy pasting the text from the website to the excel the robot is also doing the same thing it's like a mimicking the human see if any uh, a superhero is there or, or a movie actor your your fan your, your fan or your favorite actor is there okay sometimes they are doing the mimicry right mimicry so the mimicry people uh, experts they are just talking like a charanjeevi or talking like a balakrishna right or talking like a rajnikanth right so what they are doing they are mimicry mimicking mimicking the uh, same voice what they are doing okay not only mimicking the voice they will just doing the gestures also they are just standing like a uh, rajnikanth and uh, right these are all the like a mimicking the human actions 
the robot is also doing the same thing in, in the human actions if the human is what human is doing sending the uh, some hard kiss control f control s the robot is also doing the same thing okay that that very simple okay that's a one advantage another one advantage is like it will work 24 percent no sick leaves no vacations right as a human so there is a sick leaves okay so as it is a robot okay it will work 24 by 7 that is advantage okay and also super fast than the human minimal errors and more accuracy okay not only compared to the human okay human will even though human is doing the same kind of work 30 years 40 years or 20 years sometimes based on the his mood or any 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 issue with the mental issue so he may do mistakes even though it is the same kind of so you are you are doing the driving every day right driving driving to those people are doing driving they know how to follow the rules a uh, traffic rules but why these many accidents are do, uh, accidents are coming they are driving the cars they are driving the uh, bike riding uh, from almost 10 years onwards i'm doing the same kind of uh, work okay i know how to drive the car but why the accidents are doing because a humans do sometimes mistakes or it is an accident accidentally happen unexpected thing right so but if you go to the robots it's a minimal errors if you, if you if version one has the errors you can change the errors other means so fix the bugs and uh, uh, going with the a new version without bugs okay accuracy accuracy means uh, uh, that means so if you're reading the uh, data from the mm, that means so reading the data from the pdf whether it is accurately reading or it is doing some mistakes right these, these are all the things accuracy level also it is a more accuracy and working with the unstructured data there is a two types of data is there structured data unstructured data structured data means it is a, if you if you just store the data into the uh, rows and columns okay rows and columns that is a structured data okay so if you know what uh, normally so okay, can you just type in the chat window what is the examples of the structured data i'm i'm, I'm just telling the structured data means if you keep any data into the rows and columns that is a structured data can you just type in the chat box what are all the uh, places you see the structured data table data excel perfect okay excel puja okay so yeah excel where and all data tables database csc files comma separated values go pg word is not structured data okay because in the word we can't keep the values uh, uh, rows and columns even though in the middle of the some text we can insert the table but that is not structured that is a semi structured data word is coming with semi structured data not structured any any other thoughts email is a semi structured data okay siddhalinga c is you said yeah sql tejasini sql is a structured data because in sql or oracle any database so what the how the data uh, sits it is a rows and columns any data which follows the pattern damayanti excellent okay that is a structured data any data which follows the pattern let us see here okay the pattern means same structure so if you see the uh, uh, this one see here this is a pattern same product name is this is a one uh, kind of card the card contains the product name the, the product name and the second card is also a product name okay so same place same place there is a pattern based data this is not table format see this is not table format but it is a pattern based data okay let us see the pattern based data okay so let us automate the pattern based data i will tell you these things and all so don't worry about the the, the ui which you are maybe you are seeing these all the icons are the very new to you because i will i will teach everything no problem okay don't worry in the starting stage okay so i'm just extracting the data see our task is let us see the task okay our task is we have to create a, a, a excel copy the this one is a product name so create a excel uh, like a create so first drop create a excel file which contains 
four columns. Okay. Okay. So second. So what are the columns? The columns are product name, product name, and the product code, and price, and uh, stock arrived from. So these are all the things you are seeing in the background of the notepad, right? So copy each record from this website, this first slide, and uh, paste into the Excel. Okay. Paste paste into excel so this is a task okay normally they are just simply going to the copy just imagine this page will uh, modify every day so it is a new stock if you just open the same excel same uh, website tomorrow you may see the new stock so a person in the some so, so, some sports shop has to update every day this data okay into the excel appending the data into the excel okay so how much time it will take to the extract these many records this is a pattern based pattern is a structured okay so we just got the message from the main the main the right pattern based data okay let us see let us see how can we automate in the ui path okay uh, i just taken the table extraction i need the one uh, this is this so just click on the add new column I will I will teach you everything in in future, but just think about okay. So and just uh, see it is a selected all the product names. Okay, so okay. Now I'm just giving the a name of the product name. Okay, and confirm. Then click on this another one. This is a product code. So type the message column name. You can just uh, prod or uh, code of the code. You can change the names code. Okay and uh, just give the confirmation and take the another one price give the price price of the product and the next one is like okay, so uh, this is a where from where we got chennai pune kolkata right so it's so like okay, a um, city city uh, stock stock from city okay confirmation Got it. So if you want to preview, preview the data. These are all the data. And uh, if you want to uh, do the something like okay, so some let's take the product name or city name. I want to do some sort. If you, you can just give the sort, assign and guard, give the all the sort. And click on the save and close. It will ask you to click on the continue because we don't have a data into the multiple pages. See, if you go to the bottom, it's a single page. That's why I'm clicking on the continue okay so the bot is ready our bot is ready so but it will store into the in memory not in the physically in file but if the the user the client is asked to create a folder they created the folder like a stock today stock today stock here you have to create a one excel file here okay. just copy the path which where you want to create excel and uh, Excel, type the Excel. You have a ready-made activities. Everything is ready-madely available. Okay. Excel activities. I will teach everything. Uh, use Excel. I'm giving the a new name here. Okay. New name. Okay. So let's take the now dot two string. These these are all the small pieces here. we have. Right. Everything I will teach. No worries. Y Y five one. 3d hyphen mm so uh, plus dot xlsx okay so and what you want to write okay. so you want to write uh write uh excel uh write data table to excel right write data table to excel what is the data table the data table is here so this is a data table i will tell you what is the data table this is all so data table to excel and uh, what is the destination the destination uh what to write yeah, what is the destination the destination is uh uh okay okay uh maybe okay let's create a custom a sheet name i'm just creating the sheet one or or today okay today save okay. now let us try to run the bot okay. the bot it will extract see there is no excel here Let's try to run the bot. I'm running the bot. Let us see how much time robot will take. Robot, robot will take, and bot, a human will take. Human will take 
like a so at least uh, in, in a half an hour or one hour time right uh, okay see the what see how much time how much time see see the time the time 51 it is not even take the one minute it's a very it's a less seconds only okay let us see this is the excel as uh, if you see the name of the excel today's date okay open the excel and you can see you can see a lot of operations you can do see how beautiful it is so this is the capability of the robot okay? it is extracted the information from the pattern based data okay even if it, it will extract the data from the uh, something like a, a, a tabular format data which is uh, like this and also if you observe the the cities are uh, ascending order b bangalore c d right chennai right so these are all ascending order it is arranged so the development itself it is a very fast development itself it is a very fast normally if if you see the, the same kind of work if you want to uh, develop in the python or c language or c sharp dot net java it is a possible but you have to write a lot of codes a lot of lines of codes and it will take a lot of time for development yeah that is a structure this is also structured data this is also structured data uh, if you want to do the same thing, so you can do the structured data. So yeah, let us go forward. Um, yeah, unstructured data. Can you just type some unstructured data? Earlier, Gopi said like a word, and uh, uh, another one told like a so email. The email is a unstructured data. Word is unstructured data. PDF is unstructured data. Perfect, Suma. PDF is unstructured data. Then what else? What else is unstructured data? A scanned document or image is a so if you, if you see the a text within the image that is unstructured data, got it? So the yeah, paragraph in the website, perfect. Okay, that is unstructured data. So the robot will work with structured and unstructured data using the OCR engines. Unstructured data also it will read. Sometimes there is a receipts, so we have to read the data from the receipts. Okay, bills, receipts, super Suresh. Okay. So, okay, now let's go to the next thing. Uh, no code is required. Did we write any code? A lines of code? Just type yes or no. Did we write? We done a two automations, right? Now, so no, right? So did we write any code, any piece of code or any lines of code? No, that is the beauty of RPA. You just have to think that's it. Here, I want to share one thing, okay? I want to share one thing in this part, okay? If you want to create anything in the world, if you want to create anything in the world, just listen carefully, okay? Please, if you want to create anything in the world, there is a two times it will create. It's not one time it will create, it will create a two times. If you want to create a, a, a beautiful building, two times. If you want to just stitch a, a beautiful shirt, two times. If you want to create a, a build a, a beautiful uh, furniture two times why it is a two times one time in your mind in your brain okay you're planning you if you want to create a, a, a beautiful building you should not directly go and uh, start building right you have a plan where is the kitchen where is the bedroom where is the hall right you have plan in your mind you're executing the in, in your brain that is the first place it is creating in your brain. The next place is, that is a blueprint. Yeah, excellent. Excellent, Pradeep Kumar. Okay. Blueprint, you are creating in your brain. That is the first creation. The next creation is the actual creation. Okay. Actual creation, directly applying in, applying the blueprint to the actual real world. Okay. So that's why, see, no coding is required, but what we are doing, if you want to automate the process, or create a robot for the any requirement, you have to analyze first what are all the steps involved, how, how, how would that mean how to build? First of all, we have to take this activity, this activity, after this, this activity, because everything is ready-madely available. See here, we, uh, for example, mail, you have a ready-made activities to send a mail connecting to the Outlook, the IMAP, SMTP, Okay, flow of the work, perfect. Okay. Flow of the work. So Gmail, using the Gmail, everything is ready-madely available. Okay, so Excel, lot of activities are there ready-madely. You need to write a code. 
a single line of code. You don't need to write. That's why I am saying that 95%, not 100%, because a very rare cases, I can say, from this through 12 years IT, I'm working, I, I worked as a five years in RPA, five years, last five years onwards, I'm doing a, in, in doing the development, the build the robots, multiple automations. But I'm saying that in throughout this journey, this five years journey, I did not write a lines of code, okay? Any 10, at least 10 lines of code I didn't write because everything is readymadely available. If you see, see type PDF, PDF, is the PDF activities are there? There's only one activity, but I need the, I need to interact with the PDF, read the PDF, read the PDF OCR, what we have to do. What you do if any application is not there in your mobile, whether it's an Android or iPhone. You want to utilize the facility of a, a, a Swiggy, but you don't have a Swiggy app into your mobile. What, what is the next step? Just type in the chat box. What is the next step? Download it from the, where? Play Store. Play Store, okay? Google Play Store or iPhone, iPhone, uh, that means uh, Play Store, right? So in the same way, you can go here and simply type PDF, whatever the things uh, you, you want. Just uh, install the PDF into your project. App Store, yeah. App Store or Play Store, okay? So you install into your project. It is not installing into your computer. It is a project specific because for that project only we are using the PDF activity, okay? So the packages are already built and people are creating the packages. If you want to interact with the Salesforce, Salesforce packages are there. So a service now, ticketing tune, service now packages are there. SAP, SAP activities are there. Okay. Uh, the new, new things like a Google spreadsheets or Google sheets, slides, or documents, you have a, you have a separate work, uh, activities are there, uh, packages are there. Okay, and even if you want to create a your own, you can create a your own activities also. That is also possible in UA path. Okay, if you feel this this thought is a new, uh, this activity is not there in the market, not there in the Play Store. That means so market marketplace. Okay, then you can simply create by your own. Got it? So while it is installing, let's go to the next step. Uh, next step. Okay, save FTE. FTE mean full time employee an employee. Uh, is represented as a FTE. You can say, for example, one task he is doing every day by almost 200 people, every day work. Okay. If you just automate their work, you can simply create a one fire robots instead of a, a 200 uh, employees, right? Those employees will concentrate on the a, a valuable work, not only the same repetitive work, okay? So you can save the FTE, you can save the time, you saw the, time uh, which is a taking right so normally you you because if you see a ua path or they, they have a lot of people lot of organizations are already saved these many minutes these many uh, seconds see here pwc okay five million hours saved okay? in a and in, in, uh, in one year okay Got it? 10, 100K hours they saved. Do you understand? Do you understand? So this is the hours. See the money. They are saving the money also, okay? So by introducing the RPA into their organization, okay? So ROI is a return on investment. So whatever, whatever uh, you, they have to invest on the robots, right? They have to purchase the robots. They have to purchase the automation uh, tools. And they have to hire the RPA. That, that's what? This is as this is a, a new technology RPA because it is not a, a single domain. They are just interacting the RPA. It's not like a uh, uh, RPA in industries. So uh, listen. So it is like a multiple industry. See, banking, finance, insurance, healthcare, manufacturing industries. I work in the manufacturing industries. They are dating the robots, right? Uh, and not only that. So oil and gas industries. Okay. Uh, multiple so wherever the row where see the, uh, the simple thing is that wherever the computer is there 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 is automation opportunity wherever the computer is using just imagine where the computer is using okay 
their automation opportunity is there okay then speed uh, yeah it is uh, al almost yeah obviously it is better than the human so you we saw just now in in small activity right extracting the information but uh, yeah uh, this takes very very less time extracting and sorting normally it takes uh, uh, more time okay let's go to the next slide yeah what is the so do you understand rpa just try rpa if you understand rpa just type in the chat box i understand what is rpa that's it okay you you saw the advantages just type rpa if you understand please okay yeah thanks thanks suresh thanks yes sirisha okay full stamps so please type rpa okay that means robotic process understand uh, automation you uh, if you understand okay yeah let's come to the next slide okay rpa tools in the market to implement see rpa is an art tool okay first of all you have to understand what is the difference between the rpa and ui path some, some people what is the rpa what is the ui path what is rpa what is the blueprint okay. see programming language is not a, a simple thing okay programming language is a concept okay and java dot net python c c plus plus these are all the languages which okay which, which fulfill the a programming programming language okay this is a methodology rpa is a methodology it's like so we we understand rpa has the bots it will just has the capability to automate the manual stuff but how to automate you should have a tools right you know the electrician work or you know the carpenter work or you know the any any builder work but you need the tools to do that work right this is a tools market has a lot of tools are there in the market ui path blue prism automation anywhere pega nice systems okay there's a okay a lot of lot of things are there but ui path okay ui path blue prism automation anywhere and now recently power automate is also there um, for the, from the microsoft and why we need the only ui path because okay there is a multiple uh, reasons why ui path uh, why we have to use uh, we have to learn the ui path even though there is a lot of uh, tools because from the almost uh, uh, 2018 or 17 or 18 onwards uh, the ui path is a top or uh, uh, on top of all the, that means it's a first place okay first place of all the rpa tools and also it has a community edition and it is a free academy you can just go to the academy.uipath.com where they provide the free uh, 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 free trainings okay you can just use the your gmail to install this one and go to the courses and you have a lot of courses are available they already uh, given the free courses and paid courses also okay free courses and paid courses also all the studio these all the you can learn whatever a new things they introduce you can learn uh, uh, freely and user friendly so because you see user friendly just if you want to create a uh, folder create directory or folder just drag and drop and give whatever you what, whatever the inputs it requests where to create what to create got it so just type the pdf so earlier there's no pdf activities right we installed right see read pdf text read pdf text with the ocr okay Manage, P, manage pdfs join the pdf multiple pdfs are there join the pdfs normally pdf work a lot of places uh, they are doing the pdf work right uh, just take the personal loan uh, come like otherwise insurance company or personal loan com company where they are just has to verify their documents whether the <coughs> address is the same uh, address is the same or other number pan card number these are all the Correct things are there. They have to copy paste the information to the Excel or other things. These are all the PDFs. Just drag and drop and just say, uh, say what all the PDFs you want to join. It will do work for you. Okay. Everything is ready mainly available. Okay. Now, <laughs> you have a forum is there. Okay. So, forum. Okay. So, what is the. Uh, you have a forum is there. Okay where you can rise because if you stuck somewhere you don't know how to do okay so you can just come to the forum you can just create a, a question because many people a lot of people are using the forum throughout the throughout the yeah doubt clarification and you can learn for example these are all the tools you can learn so if you see here 
latest. <laughs> you can see that the comments and uh, so the giving the responses. Okay, you can help with the people uh, in the forum and you can get the help from the people experts. Okay, and also while you are just helping, if you if you help more in the forum, they will give the monthly, they will give the some awards, some rewards, some 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 uh, so, some amount. Okay, so this is a good place. And also, that, that is a form. Even more things are there. Uh, let us see uh, one by one later. And coming to the, yeah, the almost where uh, it's eight o'clock. Okay. Coming to the, this one. Okay. Whatever, uh, what are all the things I'm going to teach in these 40 days? Well, let us see those things now. Okay. So we will learn, we will learn about, uh, these are all the main components, what is a studio, what is orchestrator, and what is a robot. And uh, we will just uh, see the uh, studio. So the studio has a uh, multiple tabs, how, what is, uh, what are all of these things, yeah, tabs and uh, the variable tabs are there, snippets, all the things are there. So we will learn what is the overview of the studio. And uh, there is an assistant is there, assistant, where you can trigger the robot. Okay, so the robot will, uh, uh, run and uh, so you can have a picture in picture is also there even though uh, you are you are working in the robot uh, same computer you want to run the robot robot and you has to share the same keyboard same screen same mouse okay so in the same time parallelly it is also possible in UI path okay UI path picture in picture there is an option called picture in picture okay uh, see here picture in picture okay so that is also possible and uh, let us see uh, what is the sequence and flow chart and uh, here so the the basics because i'm just uh, more concentrated on this batch so everything so the basic thing some something some people i i saw even though they are developers so they are just uh, do not know a basic thing so they are lacking of uh, some knowledge so i i concentrate more on this this parts because i saw many people who are struggling even though they are doing the RPA developer job, but uh, uh, because of lacking the basic skill. That's why we will concentrate on the what is the variables and how to create variables and arguments. Uh, the arguments, so people will have the confusion. And uh, yeah, I will give the clear information of the arguments and dictionaries, data types, what type of data types are there, and arrays, list, what is the difference between arrays and list, and what is the object and method. So people, in, so because if you know the basics and going inside the advanced uh, concepts, you can you can just uh, uh, perform well. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Yeah, string methods is small methods so which will perform the string uh, manipulations. Date time methods how to get the dates, how to uh, that means weekend days, weekdays. So these are all the things we have to um, operate while we are just sending the uh, report. They will ask every day it has to send day before report or how to extract the uh, last month date. These are all the things, okay. So we can, we will learn there are if conditions, there is a, how many conditions are there, flowchart also we can use it, like a conditions, loops. So there's a multiple loops are there for each, while, do while, for each row, parallel for each. So what is the difference between the break and continue? These are all the questions also, interview questions also we will see. While doing the, while, while just uh, going with the each and every topic, I will explain what are the interview questions they will, they will just ask. Okay, so then let's go to the operating system interactions like creating the files, creating the folders, getting the environment folders like a download folder, desktop folder, like a creating the text files and CSV files and killing the processes. And these are all the selectors because the UA path is interacting with the um, websites through the selectors. Okay, now next, okay, uh, in the selectors, object repository, UI explorer, what are the, those things and all? See, address of the element is a, a selector. Let us see, uh, deep dive into the each and every topic, okay. Web automation, websites we are automating, opening the applications, type, text. Normally, if you see our website, uh, why I created this bots DNA, why I created this bots DNA website, because a lot of people I, I observed, okay, because initially I created my yeah, YouTube channel, uh, my YouTube channel. So uh, from the 2018 onwards, I used to share whatever the knowledge uh, I, I learn, I share in the YouTube. Okay, so there's a YouTube channel. So I used to 
share a lot of things here, whatever I am learning from the 2018 onwards. Okay, while I'm just sharing, I, I, I come across multiple contacts, multiple people. I, I know multiple people because people contacted me. They are saying this, so the common thing I, I observed is like, so they learned a technology, they went to the institutes, they, they tried, they paid the money and they tried and uh, still they are unable to, uh, that means so, mm, success in the interviews. Because in the interview, they are asking the real time questions or practical examples, where we will get the practi practical uh, experience. If, if they don't hire, if they don't have an experience, how can I uh, learn practical experience? Here is a one-stop solution. I created the multiple projects. So where it's a web applications, and if you go to the here, you can just download the web uh, zip files and uh, required files. And uh, here uh, you can see. So what we have to do for each and every uh, project. Okay. So these are all the. This will keep on going. A new projects will come. Keep on going. Okay. Uh, got it. Ticketing tools. So these are all the dummy projects. Basically a, a sample exercise uh, allocation. Okay. So now. Yeah, mostly it's, a, it's a web applications are there here. Like so, if you want to interact with the setup a server, you just select how to, how the robot will select how the robot will uh, select the check boxes and drop the list and click on the create server and get the information of the server like a server IP address, username and password from the scrapping from the F4, that means surface. Okay, so these are all the things. These are all the things so which we will learn going to learn. In this 40 days phase, so let's go here. Uh, there's a web, web automation debugging. It is a very important. People will automate, but uh, they don't know how to debug, how to identify where is the error, why it is going wrong. Normally, while I am just I, I developed uh, the robot, while I am developing the robot, the robot performing well. It is clicking on the right button, but now in the production, why it is it going and clicking the wrong buttons? Okay, why it is throwing the errors? Because you have to know the debugging techniques. You should be expert in the debugging part. How to debug the errors? How to fix the errors? Right? This is a very uh, uh, important point. And Excel automation, interacting with Excel, reading the Excel, data table automation. So we can get the data table from the CSV, database, uh, website, okay, Excel. How can we modify, like okay, merging the database, filtering the database, joining the database, look up the data, ta data table, adding the rows, removing the rows, right? And PDF automation, so reading the PDF, exporting the PDF from the web, web word. We'll see all the, all these things, how to uh, read the uh, specific points, uh, invoice number, invoice date, invoice ID, amount from the PDF and load into the Excel. And mails, in fact, with the mails, because sometimes the board uh, will read the, Mails and process. Sometimes the board has to send an exception emails, or the board will send the email to the person. This task is completed. This ticket is created, right? So JSON, JSON. What is a JSON file? Sometimes we have to use the JSON files. So we will just learn about. The, we will learn about the JSON files and REST APIs. How to call the APIs through uh, UI path and exception handling. This is also very important. Okay, exception handling. How to handle the exceptions. If any, uh, 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 if the board behaves, uh, I mean, abnormal, so what we have to do, okay. Uh, these, these things are how, do, how many types of exceptions, global exception handling, continuum error, retry, scope, this is not. And link you query. So uh, it's uh, like a, so a small, it involves a, a little bit of the uh, uh, programming, like a single line, a, a simple words, like a two string, two upper, this, this is all. Here also select where these things are all there. I will teach you link you queries and lambda expressions and assets, storing the all the values in the credentials safely into the cloud and reg expressions. Simplify your work. It is like a I, I designed this this content to simplify your work. A one person is working. Uh, just imagine two people are working in the same task, different places. One person who don't know. Uh, clearly, like a reg expressions, they don't know. Um, a, a, scale, a, a string methods, they don't, don't know. But he will search in the Google and he will spend one day, but he is unable to fix. But the second person is expert. He knows the regular expressions. He knows how to get the, all the phone numbers from the whole text. 
right? Then it is a very simple. It is a, like a ten minutes job. I observed in the whole my twelve years journey. If you know a skill very well, you will save time also. So in one of my yeah, whole journey, so I mean, I, there is a lot of things. You see, so one issue comes, we will search in the Google, or struggling to fix the issue. Time goes on, one day, two days, but if you see at the end, it is a simple word, dot trim or semicolon is missing. Why? Because why I didn't thought about that? Because I'm lack of that day. The initial days, I'm lack of the knowledge. Then I thought, I understand. If you know more knowledge, if you know more topics, it will reduce our time also. Okay, our development time also it will reduce. One person is struggling to from the almost from the morning, even to the evening. You just simply write one query, it solves a lot, uh, solves the problem. That's what I want to make you people as that much experts. I, I struggle a lot. I don't want to struggle uh, you also again going from the starting. Okay, I will teach the techniques. I will teach the. Uh, I will. I will go. Uh, I will teach this whole forty days. These are all the techniques. Let us see whether it is a thirty to forty days or it's above the forty days. But my main agenda is I want to make you as a expert in your path. Let's go to the next topic. Cues. Okay, in the orchestrator cues is there uh, first in first out and distributing the work with the cues. State mission, RE framework. Okay, so my uh, my plan is like so in the in the uh, very short period, not at the end of the course. In the short period, in the middle of the course itself, I want to teach RE framework uh, techniques, and we will build the bots. Uh, we will we will create a projects okay, by your own. Okay, in the RE framework, because I observed most of the people uh, they. They they are doing the automation. They are a little bit confused about the RE framework because people are asking in in the interviews. They are just asking RE framework. Can you build RE uh, projects in the RE framework? So this is like a very simple logic. If you understand, this is a flow. I will teach you because my personal experience. I will tell you okay? my personal experience. Okay, 2018 before 2018. Okay? I I I see. I my personal experience. Okay? I learned the RPM in my company. I started looking outside and attending the interviews, going to the companies. It's not like an online. Now it is after uh, the pandemic, it is online, right? Those days, we have to travel in Bangalore. We have to travel. We have to take one day leave or Saturday, Sunday, going from the, uh, you know, the traffic in the Bangalore, right? So spending the whole day, to just start in the interview from one part of the Bangalore to the other part of the Bangalore, and they reject. And then they will tell, they will, they will list, they will, they will uh, tell the names, list down the names. These are all the people you can leave for the day. The simple word you can leave for the day. Okay? You you can't imagine the word you can leave for the day. Okay, so how many people they rejected me? Okay? Because then I come to uh, one place, I, I understand why they are rejecting. Why they are rejecting me? Because I just learned a little bit somewhere in the internet, somewhere here, somewhere. So you can also get the nowadays, you can also get the UI path knowledge in the internet, but you don't know. That means not, not like as you see. You can get a, a, a somewhere, some, somewhere in one, somewhere in the RE framework, somewhere in. It's not like a sequential process, okay? Understand? So, um, and also one big MNC company I attended, and those that that company I answered all the questions. At the end, he asked the RE framework. I'm new to the RE framework on that day because of just I didn't answer the RE framework questions. He said, ask, ask just what are the transactions, transactions, how many transactions are there? This is not in the RE framework. Okay. Because I, I don't know RE framework, then uh, that's why <coughs> I, I just, uh, the, they rejected me. Okay. So then I thought that, so let us not, 
stop looking for the jobs learn build myself okay just type the ui path re framework okay uh, we'll see multiple uh, videos so which which is given by the multiple people right so if you see uh, that day i created a, a one re framework uh, video just uh, type the ui path uh, ui path learner okay uh, not this one yeah uh, okay yeah this one see here this one i created three years back okay three years back i created this one rf okay. because i i uh, not yeah so i just simply uh, created this one so almost uh, yeah 51 uh, k above people watched and a lot of comments are there so then so you were also part of that uh, yeah uh, this comments and all increasing the uh this, this my work okay now let us come to the rf okay so that is a that much important this one okay, then <clears throat> stop going to the interviews with the less knowledge <clears throat> i have to build myself i take in the notebook and write down what are all i know what are all i don't know so target this is a topic i don't know re framework i don't know state mission i don't know i have to learn and so because so if you just improve one percent a day so definitely this is like a consistency is required not like a so two days or three days i will uh, have a lot of uh, that means so i want to become a uh, ui path experts but after the third day fifth day going with the regular life not like that again you need to get the, that means so i need the commitment from all of you okay let's go to the next uh, things next things uh, we'll close uh, orchestrator okay how to trigger how to publish how to stop uh, these triggers okay. these are all the yeah these are all the almost uh, uh, 40 uh, 34 topics 34 slides are there these are all the topics so this is a 40 uh, this is a, my youtube url and this is a uh, okay so 